Thomas Seastrunk knows just how hard life can be after traumatic brain injury. He reflects on the event that changed his life forever. The former Midlands physician was injured in an accident caused by a drunk driver. The Irmo native was left with brain damage. After a year in rehab, he tried to go back to work, but the injury to his brain left him unable to fulfill his duties as a doctor. If I were to make a mistake and could hurt somebody, it wasn't fair to the patients. <laughs> Seastrunk uses his story to help others learn about brain injury through his work with the South Carolina Brain Injury Association. He also teaches martial arts. But just like the construction workers at Duke University are building a new wing to the Duke Hospital, doctors are working to make life easier for patients. Dr. Che Kuo is a professor at Duke University researching cells like astrocytes. One of the first things that happens is the brain has to stop bleeding. Kuo says astrocytes can often cause many problems with the brain, like tumors and other tissue damage. After the brain's injury, in fact, these astrocytes are really useful. They stop the brain from bleeding. Instead of reflecting on what he's lost, C. Strunk is looking ahead, hoping his story will help heal others and those joining the fight against brain injuries. I think it's wonderful that they're finally starting to get some studies done because we need help whether it's with stroke and whether it's with brain injury because right now all we're really studying is rehab. Um, so most people in my field uh, that study uh, stem cells in the brain are very interested in how they make neurons uh, because neurons don't regenerate and you want to make new ones. Both men hope this research will be the winning move in the fight against traumatic brain injury. Drew Stewart, Watch Fox News.